Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play the Oracle of Seasons. I am the Umbreon Messiah. I'm wondering how long it's going to take you people to get tired of that introduction. Anyway, last video I decided, decided, decided that I was going to fail miraculously hardcore amazingly. So this video I'm going to try, you know, not to do that. Of course, when floor masters are involved, my failure is nearly, you know, two steps away. Oh goody, a ring! Come on! May the goddess of fail not be on my side today. You die, die, die! Are you dead yet? I, I, I think some of you are still alive. Oh, you can piss off! Okay. Holy shit, it's Aquamentus! I believe that's his name. I can't remember. I believe so. But basically, this boss is pathetically easy. You just swing the sword at his horn like 20 times and he dies. And then you pick up the heart. Da 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 da. And we get our first essence of nature, I believe it was. Yes, essence of nature. Da 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 da! The fertile soil. Hooray! The first dungeon is complete and it only took me a minute. Well, a minute and. 30 seconds, but whatever. Anyway, as soon as we get out, the Maku tree starts talking to us again. Gotta love those leaf effects. It's me, the Maku tree. Some of the fertile soil has come to me, too. I already feel stronger. Oh, in my dreams, I saw the Temple of Seasons in a strange land. I do not know. There I saw a precious item that will aid you, Athram. That is all I can see now. Thanks, you douchebag. You're gonna give me a case of the yawns. Oh, hey, look who it is! Hi, Maple! Oh, yeah, that's a secret. Yeah. Come here, Maple. Come here. Come here. Come here, Greg. Bonk! Hello! Yeah, you know what, Maple? Shut the fuck up. Yeah! Oh, my God! I mean, I knew you could get them from Maple. I've just never gotten one before. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I've gotten one in one of my earlier playthroughs in real life, but meh. Holy shit. That early? Oh, and thanks for the money. <laughs> you have to be careful with those, though, because sometimes they'll cost you money instead. Anyway. Thank you, Maple! That's a good start. Of course, now this means if I fail at some point, I have to keep going. Which, with me, is pretty much inevitable. Is there anything in here I can't remember? Does no one have a clue? Obviously, someone has a clue, Impa, or I'm going to be very lost. Oh, one of the things about Horon Village is it's kind of like at the center of all this weather chaos. It will change seasons randomly on you. Um, okay, where am I supposed to get a shield again? Hmm. Oh, guess who's down here? Why, it's Bippin' and Blossom! Athen, it's been too long. I, too, have come to this village. It's nice to see a familiar face. Yeah, 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 please don't repeat shit I've already been told. Do you remember me helping our son, Vex? He's quite well. He's also a n shy nerd. Ah, oh, that disturbs me so much. What have I done to that poor child? He could have had promise. He could have had a future. Instead, I robbed him of it. Seriously, where do I get a shield? Oh, one second, folks. I'll be right back. You didn't see it, but that break was like half an hour. I feel like a retard, and I also kind of want to punch this game in the balls. See, in order to get the shield, I have to buy that gaseous seed first. Thusly, I'm wasting 60 rupees for a shield that should only cost me 30. Fuck this game. Anyway, now that I have my shield... We can go do some other things in uh, Horon Village before we continue going elsewhere. Where else was I headed? Right, up here. Up here, we will see another heart piece. Hooray for me! Burn, bitch! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what else needs to be done? Um, all right. Well, we should go to Vasu to get this ring appraised, I guess. 
probably won't be anything good, but never hurts. Discovery ring. You already have this one, so I'll buy it for 30 rupees. Hooray, I made money. Da, 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 da. Also, in this game, trees that have seeds only have them in certain seasons. So, since it's winter, I guess ember seeds want to grow. This is Mr. Right. Some of you may remember him from the uh, Link's Awakening playthrough, but basically he has no light with which to read from, so you light his furnace, and voila, you get the Cuckoo Dex! Which I suppose is just like a Pokedex, except it tells you everything about cuckoos. Yeah. 20 rupees, that's not bad, thank you. And if we go out of Mr. Wright's house, and down to this bush here, We'll find another one of these creepy old uncles that wants to give me a hundred rupees. Hooray! Da 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 da. Now, if we go up here, we will find eventually the mayor of Horon Village, Mayor Rawl. There really isn't much point to talking to Rawl right now or going in here except to get a gash of seed from him. I know, yeah, that bombable wall. I'm gonna speed through this dialogue because he's just a gaseous seed nut and wants you to have one and blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know there's soft earth outside of here. I don't care. In here, you'll find another gaseous seed. Joyous day. Alrighty. We're going to plant this one out here just because. You never know what's gonna come out of one of those things. And sometimes it's a heart, so meh. Seriously, this game can be overly complicated at times, but then again, so can every Zelda that takes itself seriously. Now, we're going to take a, a small detour over here first. Because we have the first trade item, why not get the second one? Why, it's Melon! looking after cuckoos and not having a clue how to do so. But that's why we give her the cuckoo dex! I wonder if it has Dexter's voice. Into a long, long egg? Isn't that the thing that Maple wanted? Huh. I wouldn't exactly call Maple cute. Anyway. Oh, shoot, I missed those five rupees. Ahem! <clears throat> now that we're done with this bullcrap... <sighs> Sorry, just a wee bit... See, that fucking tree gave me the yawns. God damn you, Maku tree. Anyway. Now that we're finally done all this crap, we can finally make our way over here and try to get out of the village to go to the Temple of Seasons. Thank the gods. Oh no, fuck, this lazy bastard wants to interrupt me. What now? Wait, young traveler. I'm a wandering prophet. Sokra. Ah, I feel it. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. The four spirits are calling you. Make no mistake, the Temple of Seasons is still hidden in this world. If you can find the temple, then pay a visit to the spirits who live there. Surely they can help. Farewell. Farewell, and you move four feet just so you can go back to... S Fucking Zelda characters. Whatever. Anyway, now we're in the Horon Fields. Uh, those tree stumps will become important later. Ah! Here we are. That is a Subrosian. They're people who live under the earth. And now I get to play a little hide-and-seek game in order to find the way to Subrosia. This is pathetically easy. I think I've only failed this once, and that's because I was, you know, not paying attention. Yeah, the music's just annoy as annoying for you as it is for me, folks. Do 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 do. Whoa, that was close. Come on, bitch, move it. I'm running out of time. Come on. Getting really bored. Yeah, and then she tries to trick you by looking back outside again. Bitch. And
Anyway, over here is the secret entrance to Sabrosia. Whoosh! Game's got better teleporting powers than I do. Welcome to Sabrosia, folks, and welcome to the end of Video 3. I'll see you next time when we continue this game, and I get to introduce you to the underground world. Later, folks.